Hi guys, Rob from Arcane Housing Catapults again. Uh, a couple of days ago, I um, showed you a little bit about the, um, the Arcade kitchen knife that I was doing. So that was all uh, cut out the other day uh, regarding the handles and glued together and uh, everything like that. So that's uh, that dried up then for about 24 hours. And uh, this evening I've done all the profiling on the handle and uh, give it a good sand down and shaping and a uh, buff over on the, the, uh, the machine and uh, it's all complete now so uh, this is it fully complete uh, I will put some pictures on at the end of the video I just want to show you show you what it actually came out like it's absolutely amazing wife is uh, over the moon with it, to say the least. Uh, so she's going to put it through its paces and uh, can I show you it is razor sharp. Now I've just tested this off off camera and it did it absolutely amazing so it's just uh, see so you see it's uh, Than a no problem with that at all. Just a shame that uh, obviously this is a bit uh, harder. Um, what a hunting knife is, <coughs> uh, just due to it, its use really, uh, you don't actually put a kitchen knife through the uh, the same type of uh, um, stresses as what you do a hunting knife, but um, yeah this is a lot harder steel so you can get a lot sharp edge on it, so yeah there we go. Uh, keep checking my videos guys, there is uh, a couple of new knives that I'm hoping to uh, get cut, cut out this weekend, uh, I've got a few other bits and pieces to do as well, so hopefully I'll get onto those knives. They will hopefully, well they will be appearing on a, um, a YouTube channel, uh, I've spoken to a couple of guys and they're going to be uh, using them in their videos. and. Uh, putting them uh, through the paces out in the field, um, field dressings and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching, feel free to subscribe, any questions drop me a message and uh, I'll get back to you. Just for anyone that is interested, uh, the actual size of this from tip to foot of the handle is 9 inches. That's about the maximum at the moment I can heat treat in my uh, oven, in my heat treat oven. Um, hopefully in the near future I'll have a, a bigger oven and uh, I'll be able to do heat treat larger blades. To be honest, no reason why you'd need a bigger one than this um, in the kitchen and definitely as regards hunting. This is a, a really good size, really good grip on the handle and a really good size blade to be honest. Perfect deer stalker size. Obviously if you want one this size in a leather sheath for hunting, different blade profile and everything. Uh, thicker steels, uh, come complete with leather sheaths, drop me a message. I can virtually make to a design of your, of your own. Uh, if you drop that, that over to me via email and uh, sizes, dimensions, what type of handle materials you're looking at then I can get back to you with the price and everything so thanks for watching, uh, keep watching and uh, feel free to ask me any questions thanks very much, I'll just uh, see if I can get a couple of close ups on it now for you and uh, you should be able to just have a look at have a look at the handle a little bit better. Sorry about that. There we go. So 
very difficult. Uh, I'm actually filming on my uh, on my phone at the minute. The uh, camera's not set up at the minute. Well, there we go. As you can see, lovely, lovely handle. Aluminium pin through there. Yeah. So there we go. Thanks very much.